Hey guys, welcome back again to Cyberhack. And if you haven't done so already and you've been enjoying my content or here for the very first time and want to get into breaking into cybersecurity, please hit that subscribe button because it really helps me and it motivates me to continue doing more videos like this. Today, we're going to be addressing a question that was proposed to me by a subscriber and the name of Andreas. And the question is... I have a question that I really hope you can answer. I hope so too. Knowing your experience in the field makes me come to you. I appreciate that very, very much as well. I just graduated high school and am on the crossroads of either pursuing a bachelor's in cybersecurity versus an associate's along with some certs. I'm currently learning Python to give myself a little head start and would finish a few certs while I'm in school. Any advice? Oh, this one is awesome because if i had to start all over again and if i was in your position i would say this because you just graduated high school and you're deciding if you're going to go to college or not and i'll give you a couple scenarios and you could play this out for yourself and you know you could kind of make out where i'm going to head towards but if you're still in high school and you're looking to get into college see if there's any type of internships and I know for a fact that it's out there. Schools, the education system, uh, city jobs usually have internships for high school students or, you know, beginner uh, freshmen of colleges. So definitely utilize that, right? So look for internships, look for any type of job market uh, for individuals in your category, meaning high school graduates and uh, getting into college. Now, the reason why I say that is because that will be the best learning experience. One, they're, they're more forgiving for interns. They're not going to hold you down to these project deadlines and they're not going to be, they're not going to hold you responsible for getting all these things done by the end of the week, right? They're, they're a little more lenient, just like how I am with the intern that I've been working with or the interns that I've been working with in the past because I don't expect them to know everything because they're there to learn, not to actually do the work. You see the difference? You're there to learn the organization, the tools, how they operate, but you're not there to actually do all of the work. You just dare to remember, like, you know, learn it. Right. So and eventually you learn it and you stay there long enough, you're going to do some of the work, but you're not going to be held responsible for everything. So going back to your question is I just graduated high school and I'm on the crossroads of either pursuing a bachelor's in cybersecurity versus an associate along with some certs. Here is my opinion to that. I know people in the industry that do not have their uh, bachelor's degree. OK. And because of that, they've been held back on promotions. So they are not making six figures or they're not even, even if they are making six figures, they got lucky, right? Because it was, uh, you know, just increases in, in pay that eventually caught up. But for the most part, the people that I know that do not have bachelor degrees or, you know, uh, college education and... It really depends on the position and the organization that requires it. But most of them, because they don't have the bachelors, are making a lot less. And when I say a lot less, they're not making six figures. But they're still making a living. And they're still doing the same IT security, cybersecurity work that the person with the bachelor's degree is doing while the bachelor degree holder is making more. Now, I know that's very debatable. Some of you guys may come on and say, no, that's impossible because I don't have a bachelor's and I'm making $120,000. It is possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. But from my experience, and you said you were coming to me, what I have seen is that people who do not have bachelor's are usually passed on the promotion because some of the promotions you do actually have to fill out well, in my experience, you have to fill out some criteria. They'll ask you, you have four years of college and some, you know, as you're filling out job uh, postings, right? As you're filling out the applications to apply for a job, a lot of them will ask you what college level of degrees do you have, right? So at minimum, at minimum, if, if you don't have a master's, you will have a bachelor's. Now, I know it's expensive. 
especially depending on the school that you go to. And it may not always make sense. It may not always make sense. Now, I started when I started IT and I wasn't in cyber. I was just doing IT networking. I didn't even graduate college yet. And this was probably 20 years ago. The first company that wanted to get me into JP Morgan Chase during that time was a, re a headhunter. Got me in there and they said, you know what? You'll be making 120,000. This was 20 years ago. 120,000 people are making now and they're happy. So imagine me making 20, 120,000 20 years ago. But you know what? I either I should thank my parents or I should be holding a grudge against my parents because <laughs> they said, finish your, your you know, college degree first. Finish your four years, then focus on the work. Do not mix the two. And I, as a you know, good kid, I listened to my parents and I missed that opportunity to make six figures 20 years ago when I was probably uh, when I was 20 years old or less, actually less, less. So uh, I wasn't even 20 yet. I was just probably hitting 20, 19, 20. And you know, the dot com boom was definitely something to remember. So going back to yours, I, if you could afford the bachelor's, do that. Uh, and, and of course, throughout time, you can add the certs as you go on. What's more important is that you learn concepts and not just have certifications to show for it. Because you can have all these certifications, you can have all this education, but you don't have the, any of the experience, right? Uh, learning Python is good. Like I've said, it really depends on which avenue of cybersecurity you want to get into. Uh, if you get into pen test or you want to get into scripting to do, you know, automation and stuff. Yes. Programming would be the right way to go. But, you know, I I'm trying to figure out based on this broad question is some certs. I'm, I'm curious to know what are those some certs that you're looking into? Are, are you talking about pen test plus or the CYSA or I'm going to probably name this one. You guys are going to get like, why that one? The CH possibly. Uh, you know, CH is probably similar to the, the pen test plus or just in general, the security plus just knowing security in general. Right. And of course, you know, there's a lot of other exams out there. You got the, the higher level like the CISP and uh, CISM. And then you have like the SANS courses, which you would never want to pay out of pocket because it's crazy expensive. Or when you actually find a, a company that you work for that's willing to pay for all that stuff. But as far as low level entry level, getting in your feet wet, Security Plus, uh, Pentest Plus, CYSA, and, and whatever CompTIA offers for those three $400 exams. Yeah, take one or two, but I don't think that would, you know, just having a dozen of them or half a dozen of those certification, I don't think it will necessarily get you a job unless you actually have some experience, which that's the tough part, right? Because you don't have certification, companies don't look at you, and companies don't look at you, they're not going to hire you. So how the hell are you supposed to get a job? So that means you should get certification so they consider you. Right. So what do you do? In your particular position right now, because you just graduated high school, I know there are programs out there to support people like you. Support as in internships. There are organizations. There are agencies, city agencies, state agencies, whatever it is. They hire uh, even medical, a hospital. They hire interns. They place interns, right? You're, you're still in that age of interns into these large organizations and you will follow a mentor almost. And I've done it. I've been a mentor for other people. I would guide them on my day to day. I didn't, it didn't feel like I was being overly productive when I'm showing them, but I felt good. It felt good because they learned. And when they learned, they were like, oh, that's how it works. And it was amazing. It was a great time to illustrate the things I did to someone that actually wanted to know exactly what I did every single day. And they, they found the value in that. And so far from what I've learned, these individuals have spawned off into the real world and they're working full-time jobs now, all in cybersecurity, which was amazing, right? And, you know, it's, it's, it's a great time to do all this because YouTube provides all these free courses. And I said SANS is very expensive, but you could find all the SANS training on YouTube, right? It's, it's all free. So many channels, so many different, uh, training and, and professional training and educational series of, you know, incident handling or pen test, um, you know, 
like sock analyst jobs and positions, interviews, how to sit for interviews, like channels like mine. So do that. Look for it in your school. If you have already graduated, you can still go back to them and say, hey, is there a program during the summers or whatever? I'm looking for an internship and they would place you in there. You may not make a hell of a whole lot of money, but you'll make something. But while you're making something, it's the, the point is not about you making something. The point is, besides you making something, is to really just be, you know, eat, right? And eat and travel and a little extra, a little extra to maybe buy some uh, studying material for cybersecurity because then you'll be making the big bucks once you learn everything, right? And I'm going to leave it off as here. I have a current intern right now. And I've been showing him the ropes and the more because I'm showing him the ropes now is because I have 20 plus, you know, years of experience in IT and 10 plus in, in cybersecurity. I'm telling him things that would literally took, have taken me months to learn, if not longer, in in a two second sentence. And and I'm, I'm explaining this to this intern and they're very appreciative of that. So it's very crucial that you have a mentor, someone that you actually can follow uh, and maybe an internship somewhere, wherever. I don't know where you're situated. I don't know where in the United States, possibly outside the United States. Uh, look for those programs. Um, and I would say follow some groups on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. And if it really comes down to it where you cannot find any of this stuff, maybe I should create one and we all collaborate. What do you think about that? Uh, remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe. Give me your comments. Give me your ideas about what if I created a group for us individuals, just like, just like here, right? This example, on Andreas, uh, asking questions. There are more questions in my videos that I will be addressing. I, I want to bring this to light that there's a lot of people out there that are still struggling, having no experience, and they're not being hired because of it. And it's very difficult to break into the field. Even though you keep on hearing that cybersecurity jobs are like so many vacancies, but these vacancies are not hiring people who don't have experience, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm trying my best to get you guys into that door and get you guys into that field with the best of my knowledge and how I would view what I'm looking for on a resume, what I look for in a candidate to hire them. Just like how I'm sitting through screenings and interviews myself. I don't get every position that I sit through. And that's the, the reality of it. Not every position is going to be a fit for you. So unfortunately, that's where it is. And that's how it's going to be always, right? One company doesn't want you. One company would love you. And that's how it's going to play out throughout the course of your life. If you land a great job or you land some mediocre, oh, I, I don't want to come here anymore. And you're just constantly looking for something else. That's going to happen too. All right. And that comes from the experience of myself. Not everyone probably did that. Some people stay in the same organization for the last 25 years, 30 years, and then they end up retiring. You could do that too. But right now, I think I answered most, or if not every aspect of what uh, you're asking for. Will you finish a few certs while I'm in school? Any advice? So that is my advice. Finish. Uh, I'm currently learning Python, give myself a little head start and would finish a few certs while I'm in school. Now, I, I'm, I'm saying, are you in school as in uh, you finish high school, but you're going to be looking to get your bachelor's and your, show, your associate versus your associates. Look for an intern position first and look at the cost. But in short, I'm going to end it here is that I know for a fact and I know for a fact for myself is that if I didn't have the bachelor's, I would not be making the money that I'm making now. Because unfortunately, a lot of organizations and companies who are hiring still look for that piece of paper. And that's the reality of it. All right. So you can use that and base it on however you want to take it. You can, you can come back and say, no, you're wrong. Uh, you can still make six figures without a bachelor's. I'm not doubting that. But from my own experience, it has been, I would say, close to impossible or if not difficult because every position has told me that it requires a bachelor degree in order to promote into the next uh, salary bracket. My experiences, all right? So I want to thank you guys for being here again. Please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.